because I'm done with this and I'm done with this, I'll bring them to boil. Um, it's like I'm making githeri, but instead of uh, beans, I'm using peas. Now, because this piece is still not... <laughs> <laughs> they will cook together. Now be careful not to take out the minji from the fire before they have cooked because they refuse to cook if um, they are taken from heat for long. So just let them cook first and then if maybe you have something else to do or you are boiling them so that you can use them maybe later or tomorrow, make sure they have cooked before the water has gone cold. Otherwise, it's it as a that's what we call them in my language. As it Iva, yes, they will remain uncooked. Also, um, my method of cooking is I'll boil the maize and minji together and then add the potatoes. Some people prefer to just uh, boil the potatoes and then add the gideri now, the minji and, um, and maize later, corn later. Yeah, so I think this is easier and it, it, it saves on energy because now I don't have to boil water all over again for the potatoes. I'll just add my potatoes onto my, my cooking um, and, uh, and maize. Also it depends on the type of potatoes you have. Like the ones I have is a little shanky. They cook very fast, very, very fast. Um, there are others that are much, uh, they take much more time to cook. Uh, various types so it also depends so don't um, okay, don't cook them that's what I wanted to say don't cook them together with the peas cook them okay let the peas and the maize cook first you know some maize can be had so 
So let the, the, the maize and the peas cook first, and then now we will add your potatoes. Yes. Also, uh, I am so used to peeling potatoes and peeling them so fast, I'll be done in a jiffy. So, yeah, let's peel potatoes and then uh, we will look at the next step. The potatoes are done, so I wash them and then we put them into the gide with the minji and the maize. Now these, this container I'm using to peel potatoes into, <laughs> I hope that is the right preposition. I bought it as a small, small kamtungi. Please watch my other videos to see why I bought like a small kamtungi. Anyway, I bought it so that it could be a pot for my monstera so when I cut the bottom part that I used as a pot I decided to keep this so that I can put my trash my fresh trash if that makes sense fruit peelings potato peelings tomatoes all those instead of putting them in my other dustbin yes so let's wash that and then continue those are clean so I just put them in there and let them boil together and let them boil together. If you need to know whether your minji is cooked, you just take some and uh, press. If they mash, it's cooked. If they don't mash, they are not well cooked. Yes, so mine are not really properly cooked because they should just mash when I, I press. Yes. So my my potatoes and minji and maize corn are boiling so i can add salt here or i can add salt when i'm mashing so you can do the same it's all up to you really now the problem with putting salt here is that i might need to strain some of the water here when i realize that my potatoes are cooked so if i had put um, some salt it will go with the water that i have strained so it's more preferable to put uh, salt when you're mashing. So let's cover this and wait for it to cook as I prepare my stew. I'm having mokimo with mutton. So I prepare the ingredients for the mutton. And then we will see. My mokimo is ready. Not ready, but my potatoes are cooked. Yes. So this is how you tell whether potatoes are cooked, you just heat and if they are mashing then they are cooked like mine are mashing. So the remaining part is the easiest part. When the manji is cooked, I have put salt to taste, don't put too much lest you are unable to cook, to eat, sorry. So we mash until it's a homogeneous green color. You can already see that it's turning and it's a beautiful yellow green. So let's mash.
I'll go ahead and put my mukimo with my onions like this. I have a confession to make. My first batch of onions have <laughs> burnt. So I've had to replace them. These ones, they got burnt. So I put a fresh batch. And um, so that you can really get the flavor, I you don't need them to, to cook, to get burnt or to to brown in so they are okay like this. I can now put my mokimo. So I've added the mokimo and mixed it up nicely with the onions and um, it's ready to eat. So I only need to make my stew. Mine is mutton, you can have vegetables, you can have kachumbari, you can have it with a drink. It's totally up to you and the way you like it. Also, if you want to spice it up, maybe add garlic, um, black pepper, um, capsicum, anything you need to add, it's absolutely up to you. Yes, but uh, I prefer it like this. It tastes more like mukimo. Also, don't forget to <laughs> subscribe, comment, uh, turn on the notification button so that you're informed of future great videos. I hope you're enjoying this one. So, you have your mukimo. It's ready now, it's ready to eat, so you just serve it with your stew and enjoy.